You know, in our, in our introduction, we take a look at the historical background of the different books. And as part of that, we take a look at the connection between that book and ancient Near Eastern literature. And this also shades over into the analysis of the literary structure of the book as well, and also into the theology, because really, even though we have three separate discussions, they really integrate with each other. And in the chapter on Deuteronomy, for instance, we spend a lot of time looking at the connection between the structure of that book with ancient Near Eastern, and in particular, Hittite treaties, because in the mid-20th century, as these treaties were being studied for the first time, it became obvious to many that there was a structural similarity between Deuteronomy and these treaties. And even though that doesn't mean we need these treaties to understand the basic teaching of the book of Deuteronomy, but it deepens our understanding of it to see that Deuteronomy, which is a renewal of the covenant on the eve of Moses' death, uh, has the structure of a treaty because a covenant really is like a treaty between a great king and his vassal people, where God is that great king and Israel are his vassal people. And so it helps us see the connections between the book of Deuteronomy. And let me just give you one example of that, that a, a treaty and the book of Deuteronomy, after introducing the main parties that are coming into this relationship, in this case, God and Israel through the mediation of Moses. Uh, after that, you have uh, several chapters that recount the past history of the relationship. Just like in an ancient Near Eastern treaty, there would be a section called a historical review where there would be a, a review of the relationship between the great king, the great Hittite king, and the vassal king he's entering into a treaty with. And then at a certain point, and in the book of Deuteronomy, it's at chapter 4, verse 1, there's a transition in Hebrew, va'ata, and now. And that's a transition from the historical review to the law section. And in Deuteronomy, that's a very lengthy section that goes through chapter 26. And what's interesting about that and theologically significant is that law is preceded by grace. In other words, this historical review is emphasizing how God has been gracious to Israel and uh, being present with them and saving them at the time of the Exodus. And so that's recounted before the law is then given. So that's just one example of how the book of Deuteronomy is illuminated by this ancient Near Eastern background.